I'm Miss Corinne, and it's time for Tales. Our story today is The Empty Pot. It's one of my favorites, and it's written and illustrated by Demi. Let's go to the Shadow Puppet Theater. Once upon a time in China, there lived a little boy named Ping. Even though his family didn't have much, Ping did have a green thumb. He could grow anything. Trees, flowers, anything Ping tried to grow flourished under his care, and he grew flowers more beautiful than anyone else's. Ping loved taking care of his garden. Not far from Ping's village was the Emperor's Palace. The Emperor was good-hearted and old, but he had no children to take over the throne from him some day. The Emperor loved to garden almost as much as Ping did, and that gave him an idea. The Emperor invited all the little boys and girls in the kingdom to come to his palace. They all dressed in their finest and crowded into the courtyard, Ping included. The Emperor gave them each one flower seed and said, Whoever brings to me in one year's time the most beautiful flower grown from this seed will be the next emperor. The children were so excited. Every one of them had a chance to become the next emperor. All they had to do was grow a flower from a seed. Ping was especially excited for the challenge because he knew he had the skills to grow a beautiful flower. Ping took his seed home to his garden and carefully planted it in a pot. He gave it just the right amount of water. He gave it just the right amount of sunlight. Day in and day out, he cared for the seed in the pot. But it never sprouted. No matter what Ping did, the seed would not grow. After months and months of giving it his best care, the pot was still empty, and Ping did not know what he could do. Finally, the day came for the children to present their flowers to the emperor, and Ping's pot was still empty. He felt sad and embarrassed, but his parents told him they were proud of him for working so hard and encouraged him to take the flower pot to the emperor anyway. When Ping arrived at the palace, he could see the courtyard was already filled with the beautiful flowers other children had brought. The children whispered excitedly among themselves, wondering whose flower would be deemed best by the emperor. But when Ping walked by them, they saw his empty pot and snickered. Ping approached the emperor with his empty pot and saw that the emperor was frowning terribly. Oh, Mr. Emperor, Ping cried, I took care of your seed. I gave it everything it needed, but it just wouldn't sprout. <laughs> the Emperor looked down at Ping and his empty pot, and he smiled. Finally, he said, finally, I found the one. He turned to the rest of the children. You see, the seeds I gave you had all been cooked. Not a single one of them should have sprouted. I don't know what seeds all of these beautiful flowers came from, but they did not come from the seeds I gave you, except for Ping, the only honest one of you all. It took great courage to bring me that empty pot, and with that courage and honesty, he will be the next emperor of China. And with his honest and courageous heart, Ping grew up to be one of the most beloved emperors in all of China. The end. What did you think of that story? Do you think that you would have had the courage to do what Ping did and bring an empty pot to the emperor's palace? It really gives you something to think about. Thank you for coming to hear some stories. I will miss you when you go, but I will see you at our next story time. Until